This tutorial will give an overview of the functions available on the full display screens for the copying function on the linear multifunction copier. There are several screens that are selected by using various tabs. We won't go through details on all the settings, but we'll show you where the various functions are. The full user manual is available from CampusNet Go to the Help tab and the Access Guide selection. This is the main screen. The functions provided in the center of the screen are Paper Selections, Reduce and Large Settings, One and Two Sided Features such as One to Two, Two to Two, Two or Four Originals combined on a single output page. You can add margin space sort, stack, and select from several staple settings. There are also several tabs at the bottom to take you to more detailed settings. The first is finishing, which provides a few more options for the sort and stack in addition to the staple selections again. The cover slip sheet tab allows you to select cover and stack separator sheets from the different paper trays. The Edit and Stamp tab provides five more tab selections on the left. Margin Adjust provides controls for adjusting the white space around the printed image. The Erase tab lets you select areas at the center or borders that you want to remove while leaving the rest of the output the same size as the original. The Stamp tab provides various text that can be added by the copier such as numbering, date, and preset tabs for things like draft, copy, confidential, etc. You can even create your own custom stamp text. The Edit Image tab has selections for image repeat, double copies, centering, and positive or negative image. Selecting an icon in the Copy Quality section provides adjustments for sharp or soft, contrast, and background density. Backing out of the Edit Stamp tab, we now move to the Duplex Combine Series tab on the bottom. It provides four more tabs on the left. The Duplex tab provides detailed options for one and two sided copying included, including orientation adjustments. The Combine tab allows you to put multiple images on a single slide. The Series tab allows you to make single sided copies from two sided originals or two separate originals. The Book tab provides settings for copying books and magazines. The last tab on the bottom is the Reduce and Large, which provides several detailed magnification and reduction settings. Now looking at the settings on the left side of the screen, we are in the default mode of text copies. The text photo selection lets you choose the type of photo that the original has. Glossy, such as photograph, printed like a magazine, or copied for an image that has previously been copied. Choosing the correct setting will give the best result. Both text and photo and photo give the same choices for photo quality of the original. The pale setting is for originals that have lighter lines, such as written in pencil or faint copies the copier will darken the lines. The generation copy setting is for use when your original is an old generation copy that needs cleaning up. At the bottom left you see the density setting. You can make copies darker or lighter by pressing the arrows. Now one last setting we'll look at is the check modes button at the top right. Use this to check out a listing of all the job settings before you print. 
When done, press Exit. You can either make more changes or press the Copy or Start button to print your job. So that's the overview of the settings available from the full display for copying. Thank you.